Hi guys and welcome back to another video and welcome to Just Basics and in today's video we will be unboxing another router and this is the GLSF 1200 gigabit router all right so let's start with the unboxing and see the exciting features of this router has to offer by the way guys like what i said earlier this is given by gel inet so again thank you so much for giving this router to us i actually like to have this router because of one of its feature and i will be discussing or i'll be showing you that feature that really um like or what caught my attention or my interest so please keep on watching So this is the package, I'd say it's very neat. First thing you'll see upon opening this is the um, card, card slash or thank you card. Then the router which is all white and has four antennas. So aside from those two, the last thing inside the box is its power adapter. So there's no LAN cable which um, which is kind of sad because I'm expecting that all routers that I'd be buying has a LAN cable because most of the routers that I unbox has a free LAN cable. However, the power adapter is quite interesting. So here's the power adapter. It has a modular plug. So if you specify a European plug, that's what you'll get. And me, I got a standard US plug. Now let's check this router. It's all white. I think the size is just right for it. On the front, it has seven LED lights. Power, WAN, LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, and one for 2.4 GHz signal and one for the 5G signal. At the back, it has two holes, one for the power plug and one to reset the router to its default settings. And it has a WAN port and three LAN ports. All right, so here it is, guys, the GL INET, um, GLSF 1200 gigabit router. So the size is just right, and yeah, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. Now let's talk about some of its features. Compatible with A, B, G, and devices, 1200 megabits high-speed internet, 300 megabits per second for 2.4 gigahertz, 867 megabits per second for 5G gigahertz. So this is perfect for reducing buffering and ideal for 4K stream. One WAN and three LAN gigabit port offers one GBPS stable connection. Each ethernet port can achieve up to one GBPS speed. So this is ideal for any internet plan and allow you to directly connect your wired devices. Four high-performance and powerful antennas gives you powerful wired and wireless internet network speeds. Compatible with 30 plus VPN service providers and open WRT pre-installed backed by software repository. So that is the feature that I was talking about earlier that I that really caught my interest and my attention, which is open WRT. So that is the feature that I really want to try. Instead, the default system of the router you can put another system. It's like installing another Windows to your computer so you can have more access to the router features because it gives you root access to the router. Now, OpenWRT is open source, so it's free and it will have a lifetime update so you won't have to worry that your router will be out of date. For the setup guide, I think you should always read the guide before you use any router. Um, especially if you're not into tech, you don't know anything about routers. Now with this router, you can see it at the back of your box or off the box. So here it is. I'm not sure if you can see it but I'll be showing it close up later on. Now this is the setup guide and there's other details in here for how to reset and for the technical support. So if you look here, the steps are to turn on the router just by plugging its power cable and then connecting it to via Wi-Fi or LAN cable in order to do the initial setup. So you don't need to connect it to the main router just yet. 
But what I did is to connect the LAN cable coming from my main internet router to its WAN port. Then I plugged the power cable in and waited for it to boot up. It only took a minute before both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz was active. Next step I did is to connect the router. So I used my phone in here. So just connect either the 2.5 gigahertz or the 5G option. Now some mobile phones might not be able to connect to the 5G option, especially the old ones or old models. After connecting, open up a browser, go to its default IP address, which is 192.168.8.1. First stop here on the setup is to change your preferred language. So I'll leave it in English. Next is to set up the admin password for the router. Now that's it, your new GLI Net SF 1200 router is now set. Now you can browse the features of your new router. For the features of this router, which is the GLSF 1200 gigabit router, I'll be making a separate video for the other features. So please stay tuned on my channel, subscribe if you haven't. Now before I end this video, I would like to share why or what would be the reason why you will be buying this router or what, what would make me buy this router. I think this router is a mid-range router, which is a Wi-Fi 5 router, AC1200 if I'm not mistaken. It's a Wi-Fi 5 router, AC1200, so it would be giving you a total of 1200 megabits per second, 300 Mbps on the 2.5 GHz and 867 on the 5 GHz signal. And again, what I really love with this router is the OpenWRT that would make an update of the router and it would not be left behind or it would always be updated. Which I guess you can see on the other mid-range router which, which I haven't encountered yet. So yeah, OpenWRT is a catch. If you have this kind of router guys, please let me know in the comment section what are your experiences or what are, what, would, what are the things you like about this um, router and what makes you buy this router or maybe you can also um, suggest any routers that you can unbox or we can give a review. Let me know in the comment section.